Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are going to be wrapping up the 2021 series of my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. I have had so much fun doing this project yet again. I did it back in 2019, 2020, and now for 2021. It was a little bit of a shorter kind of year for me. I think I started it back in like maybe March or April. I probably should have looked at that prior to sitting down to film, but I had such a blast with this project yet again. It is honestly probably my favorite project pan simply because I adore eyeshadow. I love playing and creating different and interesting eye looks with different color combinations, different textures. I really have so much fun with my eyeshadow collection and this project really gives me an opportunity to make my collection look more used and to inspire me to use different combinations of eyeshadows and to play with new creations. And it has been such a treat, especially this past year where I didn't bring in any new eyeshadows to my collection. I didn't purchase any new palettes, I should say. I did end up getting two eyeshadow palettes in PR this year and um, truly I didn't feel like I needed any more eyeshadows in my life because I was really focusing on trying to hit pan on those that were focus items in this project. And it's been, it's been so much fun yet again. I cannot wait to do this project again in the new year, but for now I am looking forward to a little bit of a break and just reaching for my, my eyeshadow collection a little bit more naturally and seeing how I want to use it over the holiday period. If you have never heard of Pan Those Eyeshadows or you've just never really understood what this project pan is about, everyone kind of does it in their own way. Personally, I randomize from my entire eyeshadow collection and I really just want to try to hit pan on as many eyeshadows in my collection as possible. Everyone kind of does their own kind of spin on this project pan and there are hundreds if not thousands of hours of content to consume of this project pan because it has blown up over the last few years. It was initially started by my friend Alexi who I will have who I will have linked down in the description box of today's video as well so you can go and check out the amazing creator of this project. I'll also link in there just a few other people's playlists from this past year so that you can binge watch some other Pandos eyeshadows content if you are very inclined to. I absolutely love watching this project from other creators. I have so much fun with it on my own and watching others partake in this project. It's just so much fun. It really truly is. So why don't we get on into the finale, the wrap up for this past year. I am really excited to share with you all the progress that I've made over this past month or so. And yeah, let's talk about all of the eyeshadows. So this is the color story that I've been working on in the past month. I have been really enjoying reaching for all of these shades. I felt like this was a really good color palette to kind of end the year off with because I had a really great selection of metallics and I had been asking for metallics for months and months and months in this project pan and I finally finally moved from primarily mattes over to more shimmers and that was really nice because I was just able to make more visible progress. Metallics always move a little bit more quickly than mattes. Mattes can be very difficult to hit pan on and to make visible progress on so I really enjoyed this color palette and I really enjoyed reaching for all of these shades. So let's chat about each individual color and let's talk about some of the looks and kind of insights that I had throughout the past month as well. So the first shade I have here is the only matte color and it's been in here for several months at this point as well. It comes from my Oma Beauty Black Magic Allure palette, which is such a beautiful palette, especially at this time of year. It's been really nice to reach for it for like the fall and early winter time. And this shade is a true matte deep green shade. So it's been really great to use as like an accent color um, to really deepen up looks. But I have felt like I've worn a lot of green looks, which I'm not complaining about whatever whatsoever at all. But I do feel like I've worn a lot of greens over the past couple months because of that focus shade. But Previous to today's update, I had reached for it 25 times. It was very slow going. I was feeling like I wasn't making that much visible progress. I wasn't making a ton of headway and 25 uses is pretty significant for me. But this past month, I reached for an additional eight times and I'm really happy to say that I was finally able to hit pan on Lush. So Lush is that one right there. It's the most used looking shade in the palette by far, I'd say. I did have to be very um, strategic with trying to hit pan on it over this past month. So I did some graphic liner. I used it as a very deep, intense outer corner kind of shade. I was using it 
For um, winged liner, I was using it in those very targeted, very specific kinds of ways with very t uh, small brushes so they could be very targeted so you can see it's like a pinpoint kind of pan in there. And there is a little bit of um, kind of hard pan happening around it because I was using a setting spray also in order to intensify the shadow and to allow it to work for those kinds of instances very well as well. So. There is, um, yeah, that little kind of pinpoint of a pan. I'm still super pleased with that because I know I use this so, so much. 33 uses altogether in this in order to hit pan. And I know there's still tons of shadow left in here. It'll be probably never used up in my lifetime to be entirely honest, but it feels really good to see a pan in there. I've had this palette for about like 15 months, I'd say like a year and a few months. And yeah, pretty, pretty happy to finally see a pan in that shade. And then the other shade, which I'm kind of covering up the other portion of this palette because my other focus shade is this one right here, which is a light golden kind of shade. It's a very, very light white gold color and it's called Lady of Gold. It is a beautiful metallic and I'm wearing it today on my brow bone. I'm wearing it kind of on the inner, like, third or quarter of my lid as well. And I've been wearing it a lot as a brow bone shade, as a highlight shade on my inner corner, that kind of thing. So my last update was the first time that I had shared my progress on Lady of Gold with you. I had used it 11 times already up until that point. And this past month I exceeded that and I used it 13 times. I used it a lot. Like I said, it was just a really great shade to wear as a brow bone or inner corner highlight. So it was super easy to reach for. And today I finally hit pan on it, which is super exciting. So I had a total of 24 uses on this shade and I hit the tiniest, weirdest little bit of pan right there. Um, I did say in my last update that I thought I would be able to hit pan on it sooner than Lush and I didn't hit pan on it sooner than that, but definitely within uh, fewer uses. So nine fewer uses on Lady of Gold because it's a metallic, it's uh, a little bit looser of a formula and I was able to use this in really like large expansive um, kind of areas on my face. I did wear it as a face highlight once as well and I think that that really did help me as well. And overall, super happy to have hit pan on it. Again, tons and tons of products still remaining in here, but I'm really happy to see this palette looking more loved. I've reached for Romantic so many times since I've had this as a focus palette. And then these metallics, they don't look like overly used by any means, but I have reached for them a lot over the past little while as well. And I've been really enjoying getting to know this formula more and this palette as well. It's a really beautiful palette in my opinion. I'm not sure that you can even really tell from that distance, but this next shade right here is a very faint pastel kind of purple metallic. It is a shade that I was not really too sure of when I rolled it into this project pan. I wasn't really super looking forward to using it but I'm happy that I gave it a chance and I've been working on it through this project pan. It's not something I would have been drawn to otherwise, if I'm honest. And it is the shade A1, which comes from my ABH Norvina palette. That is a primarily purple palette. The palette as a whole really skews to a little bit more of a cool purple kind of color palette. And I wasn't that thrilled when I rolled into this project, but Last update was the first update I had it in and I had already used it nine times, which was great. This past month, I only reached for an additional six times because I just wasn't feeling super compelled by it. So I've only reached for it 15 times in this project. It is this shade right here and I was not able to hit pan on it in those 15 uses. It's so awkward to show this palette every freaking time, but that's it. I do feel like I'm making, you know, a little bit of visible progress. There's a little bit of a well kind of happening in the pan. However, it would take me probably double the uses that I've made, like been able to reach for it over this past month, I'd say maybe even a little bit more in order to actually hit pan on it. I have had two other shades from this palette, the only other two shades that have pan in them in this palette. I've had them in this project in the past and they did take a pretty significant amount of uses in order to hit pan on them. So I knew going into A1 that I wasn't gonna be able to hit pan on it with a few uses, but I'm happy I reached for it 15 times, even though it was something I was not feeling excited about when I first rolled in, like I was not thrilled about this whatsoever but I've gotten to know it a little bit better and I've gotten to feel comfortable with reaching for it. Today I'm wearing it on like the inner portion of my lower lash line as well as on my inner corner and I have come to quite like it that way, but it's not really something that like I adore by any means, 
but seeing as it's been a focus shade, it has been fun to explore and get to know, but unfortunately no pan in this one. This is a palette, honestly, that I considered um, decluttering a couple times, especially when I was focusing on it last year, but I couldn't really find anyone in my life who was interested in taking it off my hands and I knew this is something that I can't really like donate or sell or anything like that. So I'm holding on to it uh, and not loving it. It's not a favorite by, by far, it's not a favorite. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep on using it probably when it gets rolled into this project pan and that's probably about it if I'm honest. Like I don't hate it by any means. I just never really feel like I I'm drawn to reaching for it naturally. I don't gravitate it towards it at all without this project pan, but hopefully next year I can hit a few more pans in it and focus on it a little bit more diligently. These last two metallics here, these beautiful neutral metallics, I rolled in in my last update. So I only have one month of progress to share with you on both of them. This one right here is a gorgeous, kind of slightly dirty gold shade. It is unbelievably beautiful and it comes from my my pride and joy, I love this palette so much. It's the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette and the shade is called Imperia, which is so, so stunning. I unfortunately have only reached for it five times since I rolled it into this project pan. I'm surprised I didn't end up reaching for it more frequently than that. Five times was really all I was able to give it. However, I did use it as a nail polish once and it was so beautiful. It's such a beautiful like festive kind of color I feel like. So I really enjoyed wearing it as a nail polish and then four other times on my eyes. I was kind of shocked to see that number but um, I was really just focusing on the other shades in the uh, selection here trying to hit pan as best as possible. So five times is better than zero that's for sure although I would have been reaching for this palette probably anyways because it's absolutely perfect for this time of year but it was really fun to focus on that. I do feel like there's a decent sized dip starting to happen in there and that feels really good for sure. And this final shade was also rolled in in my last update. It is a beautiful bronze color that kind of has like a rosy sort of undertone. It's very unique actually. And when I first rolled it in, I didn't really feel super excited about it, but I've come to really enjoy reaching for it over this past month. It is a depotted ColourPop shade that came from the ColourPop and Kathleen Light's Dream Street palette. The shade is called Stardust and it's really, really pretty. It is kind of chunky, a little bit flaky. It's not the most user-friendly kind of metallic in my opinion. I've had some troubles with it. I definitely always have to use a glitter glue and I really need to like buff it onto my eyes or apply it with my fingers. So it has been something that I've had to use quite a lot of product when I reach for it. I've actually reached for Stardust 14 times this past month. That is a big number for me. Generally, I'm somewhere in the like six to 10 uses for an eyeshadow. 10 is like on the high end of uses for a certain eyeshadow every month, but 14 uses, I was able to use it a ton. I feel like that's really great. And Stardust is this shade right here. I'm not sure that you can see it on camera. I think you can, I think you can. I did hit pan on it. I hit pan on it today. I'm wearing it all over my lids and I did hit pan on it today. And that's in part, probably mostly because I applied it as a nail polish yesterday. So yesterday I did this manicure right here. Sorry about my uh, little cut there, but I did this manicure using it. I did have to do two layers of the metallic to get that kind of opacity. And I'm really happy that I did end up using it as a nail polish yesterday because it looks really beautiful. I feel like it makes for a really gorgeous nail color, nice neutral. And truly, I just feel like the like loose formula did allow me to hit pan on it in those 14 uses, but I will take it. So it feels really good to be wrapping up this project with three new eyeshadow pans in my collection. I was actually just going to sit down and share this video and have one pan in my collection, which also felt really good and really exciting. I had hit pan on the shade Lush uh, maybe like a couple days ago, earlier this past week. But today I was able to hit pan on Lady of Gold and Stardust and so that just felt really exciting, so good. And I'm so happy to wrap up this project with three additional pans in my collection. In total through this project pan, I hit pan on 14 of my eyeshadows this year, which is so, so exciting for me. And I feel like that's really 
quite a large number of eyeshadows to hit pan on. I actually hit pan on a total of 18 of my eyeshadows this year, but 14 of which were focus shades from this project pan. And that is super, super exciting. And I know I don't often speak about it, but as we're doing the wrap up today, I kind of just wanted to share with you my pan percentage as well. As of today, which is December 12th, I have pan on 65 of my eyeshadows in my collection. However, I have 386 total eyeshadows in my collection. So there's a lot of eyeshadows that still are without pan. And that brings me to a grand total of 16.84% pan percentage. That actually feels like a really good number to me. I would love to keep track of how many pans I hit this year and then compare it to next year, especially because it will be a year long project for 2022 for me, as opposed to this year, it was kind of a little bit shorter. I took a little bit of a break and that was really important for me. And I think that allowed me to have a little bit of success also in this project this year. So I'm just rambling at this point. Honestly, I'm just so thrilled with this project pan, how it wrapped up. Let me know if you're planning on doing pan those eyeshadows in the new year. I would love to keep up with you. I just find it so exciting and it's really inspiring to watch others do this project as well. But yes, that is absolutely everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.